Yeah, life's good, man. I, I've, had, uh, I've had two kids last year, so I've just been on the daddy duties at home. So, yeah, life's How, good, man. How's it been uh, juggling being, you know, daddy duties and preparing for a heavyweight fight? Oh, yeah, it's pretty hard, man. But it'll be very rewarding after this fight, so be good. And obviously, how, how, how good does it feel to, you know, get fight here in Perth the last time the, the UFC was here? It was a pretty electric crowd. So, you know, how happy are you to be here on this side of the world? Um, well, the last time I was here, my brother got a first-round knockout. So I'm going to try to one-up him on this one. So How do you one-up a first-round knockout? Uh, get the bonus with it. That's true. That's true. Uh, and obviously, uh, you're fighting another brother, uh, Johnny Walker's brother, Walter Walker. So uh, are you a type of fighter that watches tape? Do you care what he does in there? Uh, how is preparation for him? Yeah, preparation is good. I um, watched a little bit of tape, but uh, yeah... I would like to fight both of the Walker brothers if I could. Uh, you know, I want to campaign down to light heavyweight, and his brother would like to come after too. So, anything specific about Johnny, or just you like that fight for you? Oh man, I'm a f- I'm a fan of the, their fighting style. They're cool. They're cool cats, you know. Uh, but be cool to do both of them, sure, eh? Sure, sure. Um, and then just two quick ones for me, unrelated to this fight. I don't know if you heard, but the UFC, the MMA, there's going to be new rules implemented on November 1st. The 12 to 6 elbows will be allowed, and They've redefined the grounded opponent rules. So I'm curious, did you hear about these, and what do you make of them, and do you think it's been a long time coming? Yeah, it's good. I think it, it favors us strikers, you know, so I'm happy for that. Can I get your thoughts on the main event between Drikas and Israel? Oh, Izzy all day, man. Izzy should get him done in one. Let's go. What's going on, bro? Yo, what's up, my G? How how tired were you when you kept getting in, getting tagged in that meme of Mario Batista when he was jumping? You said, stop tagging me in this after you were getting oh, man. Leg kicked in the last fight. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Everyone after, even some of the boys, even some of my boys sent it to me. So it's, said I should have done that, you know? So. Can, you, uh, can you explain the significance of the mustache and the mullet combo down here? Because it's starting to creep into North America, and oh. I feel like the wrong type of people are, are using <laughs> it down there. So can you explain the significance here? Nah, just, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's the look, bring it back, baby. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. Hey, Junior, just over here. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, wow. Um, obviously the fight with, uh, Dilemma didn't go your way, but it was taken on, you know, extremely short notice. So is that one you would like to get back eventually with a full camp? Uh, not really. That's my brother's. That, that was my brother's fight. That's someone he wa- he wants to he wants to take on. So, if the opportunity's there, man, fuck, I'd love to fight him on a full camp. Um, but, yeah. And one other thing, um, you obviously made your professional debut for Beatdown Promotions in Brisbane, um, and on this card, Stuart Nickel is making his debut. He obviously fought for Beatdown Promotions a fair bit as well. Um, what does that mean to to to, to you to see? you know, another organisation like Beatdown come through and, and have guys come to the UFC. And it, I suppose it's a good thing for, for Australian MMA overall. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely good. Uh, it's good for Australian MMA. shines light on, on the talent we got down there in uh, Brisbane. So, yeah, man, shout out to Damian Brown and the Beatdown crew. Junior, see you um, obviously fighting a little bit away from home but still in Australia. I just want to know your preference on fighting, uh, you know, closer to home or fighting abroad and, you know, completely focusing in on the fight and getting rid of all distractions or would you prefer to have your family around and a bit more of that comfortability factor? Oh, man, my family follow me everywhere I go for, for the fights. So I've got I mean, all my brothers and, and boys in the back there. So, yeah, it doesn't matter, man. Just, just the chance to show off in front of them, you know. And a uh, bit of unrelated note, but obviously you've got yourself and your brother, you're fighting Johnny Walker's brother. There's plenty of brothers floating around in the UFC. Do you think there's ever scope for, like, a tag team division with the brothers going at it? Fuck, oh, like we're, we're the baddest brother in, brothers in the fucking whole company, man. We, we'll, take, we'll take anyone on. Fatal four-way, maybe? WWE Fuck, style. Elimination Chamber, whatever it is, man. We, we go all the way. <laughs> Thank you. Kind of going off of that, I saw a video of... I, I can't, it was either you or your brother, and you said... If any two people from this part of the world walk into a room with us, we're the ones walking out. Uh, so why is it you two are the toughest brothers in, in the UFC right now? Oh, man. Fuck. Fuck, we're the baddest brothers in the... Surely there's some footage out there in Tiger Muay Thai and the, on the sparring mats or... Fuck, we got, some, we got some footage. 
Check out our OnlyFans. <laughs> Actually, I got a couple more. Did you ever see Dana White's reaction of the last fight? He was, when he was asked about you guys swapping out, it was a pretty simple answer. He said, he said one out, one in, simple yeah. as that. Did you ever see that video? No, nah, man, but I remember going on stage and um, the crowd reaction to Anaheim going crazy and uh, Dana White saying, man, goosebumps. I was thinking, cheers, bro. Send us some money. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, is Rubellis to Spain a guy you still want to fight? I saw you had talked about him. A little bit, you know, you said bring him down to Australia. Yeah. He kind of lost a little bit of hype after his last fight, but is that a guy you still want to fight one day? Yeah, I, I would like to fight anyone, man, especially that dude, you know, take his gold Is it a gold medalist, that guy? Not 100% sure. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> if he won a medal, it would be my medal if I beat him. So. <laughs> okay. Junior, just over here. Uh, you mentioned about the last time the UFC was in town. Your brother was on the card. And you weren't. I remember you uh, at the open workouts getting a reaction from the crowd. Uh, how is it to now be in the opposite situation where you're fighting and your brother's in your corner? Uh, man, a bit nerve wracking, you know. But I don't know. I've been here many times, man. I just, it's just another fight for me. Something about uh, both of you is this uh, the, the tougher gang. You know, it's something you guys both talk about a lot that whole kind of us against the world. And while I understand and appreciate that attitude, you guys are also, like, beloved. And people really do get around both of you. What is that like when you've got this attitude of, like, it's us against everyone, but everyone is kind of on your side? Yeah, well, I feel like everyone can relate to us, you know. We come from uh, very humble beginnings, you know, so they... I feel like a lot of people love that what we do, man. We, we made it to the top level, just fucks me, I don't know how, but... We're here fighting in front of all these guys against the elite level guys, and we're just, yeah, I don't know. Me and my brother's just chilling. Thank you. Robella's got a bronze medal in the Olympics. You got a bronze medal? Yeah. Fuck, I'm, I guess I'll be an Olympic medalist then if, if I get that fight. <laughs>